Boop, boop, boop. This here, this is the Sony 35mm f1.8 lens. And this is by far my favorite lens I've had to date for a number of reasons. This lens has many features, which is why I like it so much. For example, it's got a 35 millimeter focal length as an F1 weight maximum aperture. It is durable material. It has an E-mount lens adapter, which means it fits perfectly on my E-mount camera. It has optical image stabilization. It's cheap. I can't remember the price, so I'll put it on screen. So 35 millimeters. Why do I prefer this 35 millimeter lens over say a 50 millimeter lens? Well, there is a basically a main reason and that is a term APS-C crop. Basically, the Sony APS-C cameras, the basically the Alpha 6000 series and the ZV-E10, it doesn't actually have a full size sensor, it has a crop sensor which is smaller than the original sensor, which basically means that whatever focal length the camera lenses is actually 1.5 times that so really if you do the math it's actually about 52 millimeters this lens on my camera which is basically 50 millimeter prime which is the most popular type of lens you can get um, and so I found this this focal length to be just really the sweet spot for me it, it's like the most versatile thing I could get I can just use this lens for almost anything I use it for photography I use it for videography I almost never use any of my other lenses now um, because it's just nice I, I, I also love, I can just slap this on a gimbal uh, and it, all the shots I get from it just look absolutely insane. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the f1.8 wide aperture. Uh, now this is perhaps the biggest reason why I love this lens so much and it's basically has two main advantages. One, a wide aperture equals nice bouquet or nice blurry background which is always nice for for basically any anything with the camera, you want a blurry background because that equals good video quality. I mean, not, not. And the next thing, a wide aperture is also incredibly useful for low light performance. It means that I can go out into the night, night city with the with this on a camera and record nice footage without it being grey and need you to having to bump the ISO up a lot because it's just wide aperture, which means you can fit a lot more light onto the sensor. Right. Optical image stabilization. That is another area where this lens just is just it's just so good that inside the lens the glass elements move about so that any movements you make in handheld are reduced significantly by the uh, lens itself, which makes the image more stable. That paired with catalyst brows on the Sony cameras or or active image stabilization is just truly something beautiful. It's almost gimbal-like. So why do I love this lens so much? Is it because of the focal length? Is it because of the wide aperture? Or is it because of the price? It's the price. Well, it's actually a mixture of everything. This lens having such a nice space, nice lens, 35 millimeters, as I explained, perfect prime length for me personally. F1.8, perfect aperture. Maybe we could be wider with the Sigma 30 millimeters, but that's an alternative a more expensive alternative and that is where this one which is my favorite lens it's cheap really cheap and it's small like like this is a really small lens i like small lenses because i can just fit them in my pocket so thank you for watching this video on this lens uh i've tried to change up the way i do videos a bit so if you enjoyed it don't forget to press like and subscribe i really need to hopefully we can get to 200 subscribers by the end of the month and i'll see you guys in the next one